Books arose in a new age of print technology, and in a period of digital technology, we are pushed again to consider what a book is and what it does. At present, digital books in rhetoric and composition consist of print books that have been scanned and digitized to be read or searched in digital formats, or book-length projects on thematic issues hosted on journal sites, or scholarly print books created for digital distribution. These early instantiations point to the possibilities and limitations of digital scholarship, and the new work of composing intends to elaborate such disciplinary conversations by asking, does a digital book need a cover? How should a table of contents function in a nonlinear book? Which assumptions about print books are transferable to digital books and which are not? And also, how do modes and media change what kind of knowledge is produced? Answering these questions required us to think about how print books work and how the work they accomplish is or is not transferable to digital scholarship. Although this video introduction foreshadows what digital books can be, we also recognize the power and affordances of traditional scholarship. So we invite you to continue reading.